क्रेडिबिलिटी के बारे में क्या आप लोगों को पता चला कि लोग कंज्यूम तो करते हैं लेकिन कितना ट्रस्ट करते हैं टेलीविजन न्यूज़ में और किन चैनल्स में तो हम ये सोचते थे कि शायद लोग पसंद कर रहे हैं कि बस वो डिबेट होना चाहिए बट वेन यू लुक एट द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द स्टडी इट्स नॉट डिबेट विच पीपल वॉन्ट टू वॉच पीपल आर इन मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन द न्यूज बिकॉज आई थिंक ऑल्सो बिकॉज न्यूज इज मिसिंग इवन द बीजेपी लीनिंग रिस्पॉन्डेंट फेल्ट दैट न्यूज वॉज टू फेवरेबल टू मोर टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर All the viewers uh, who go to these channels say that they prefer bulletins rather than watching news debates. The only slight outlier is Republic TV, where the viewers are less likely to prefer bulletins. If we're just talking about Muslims, uh, your respondents, the trust was highest among DD, then newspapers, then private, then uh, radio, and then online website. So minus three may on ka trust. बिल्कुल नहीं So, what is this uh, very interesting religious divide in how? I am not at all surprised by this these numbers because. Welcome to a very special discussion on media in India. We are going to be discussing today, uh, talking a lot about news, the impact news has on people, how news is perceived by people. Uh, usually, you see me in a very different avatar on TV news, uh, where we critique the news, we talk about everything that's wrong with television news. But today, we are going to try and understand news, its impact, and uh, some of some very interesting features about news consumers in India. I have a really fabulous panel of guests with me: uh, Sanjay Kumar, who's professor and co-director of Lok Niti at CSDS, which is Center for the Study of Developing Societies. Welcome. Thank you so much. Jyoti Mishra, who is Research Associate at CSDS and Vibha Atri, who is also Research Associate at CSDS. And the reason why we have so many people from CSDS, Lok Niti, is because we are mainly going to be discussing this study, uh, Media in India, Access, Practices, Concerns and Effects. Uh, this came out, I think, last year, sometime in November. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and it has some fascinating. Uh, if any one of you are interested in media and understanding the media, then I highly recommend that you get this study because it is very fascinating. It has some very interesting nuggets about consumer behavior. It's also very extensive. Seven thousand uh, Indians, close to seven thousand Indians. And across nineteen states, so it's very, very uh, exhaustive, and you, you know, have a good. I think one of the unique feature of any study which is conducted by CSDS or Lok Niti hmm. is that we try and do a national representative sample, because these days the problem with many survey-based research is that the survey is conducted in few cities, and this is served to the viewers, readers as a national survey, which is not the national survey. Hmm. and we you, you would come across a lot of youth surveys conducted in 5 6 8 10 cities of this country hmm. and it is it gets a headline in big newspapers or big uh, news magazines as a study <laughs> of youths in india yeah. so that's a unique feature of this study as well as our previous studies also and sometimes studies are only online so then that doesn't yeah, capture yeah. a large section of india so we'll get down to talking about some fascinating Nuggets that I found very interesting from this study. Uh, to begin with, I just want to know from each of you, uh, why did you decide to embark on this study? Why media and why consumption of media? Uh, why this study? If you take a glance of the kind of themes which on which we have done the survey, you won't be surprised that why we picked up media. Hmm. Uh, we have done the surveys on eating habits. We have done the survey on religious practices among Indians. We have done the survey on even on the attitudes, anxieties of Indian farmers. so to us it's not surpri- surprising because there has been a lot of debate about what kind of media people consume and there is a discussion about whether it is a top down approach or, or a bottom up pr- approach uh, what i mean to say is uh, log ye sochte hain ki bhai agar aap news mein jo log hain unse puche ki bhai ye aisi cheeze aap kyun dikhate hain the immediate response is janta yahi dekhna chahte hain log yahi dekhna chahte hain aur janta se puche to kehte hain kya wahiyat cheeze dikhai ja rahi hain so इस तरह के कई सवाल हैं और इन सवालों का जवाब कैसे मिले यही सोचते हुए हम लोगों ने सोचा कि एक नेशन वाइड कंज्यूमर्स के साथ बात करनी चाहिए जो मीडिया के कंज्यूमर्स हैं उनसे पूछनी चाहिए कि वो सचमुच क्या चाहते हैं क्या ऐसी चीज़ें वो चाहते हैं जो मीडिया उन्हें परोस रही है और इससे कई और सवाल हैं जिन सवालों का उत्तर आपको स्टडी में मिल रहा है तो यही हमारी एंग्जाइटीज़ थी कि 
क्या हो रहा है इतना डिबेट हो रहा है मीडिया पे मीडिया इज शेपिंग एवरीथिंग मीडिया हैज एंटर्ड आवर बेडरूम ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट कम आउट तो हमने सोचा कि एक बार पूरे एक सिस्टमेटिक स्टडी किया जाए डू लाइक टू कमेंट ऑल्सो द कोविड 19 एंड द लॉकडाउन दैट फॉलोड बेसिकली इट ओनली इंक्रीज द डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ पीपल ऑन द मीडिया सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ आइसोलेशन सो आई थिंक इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स दिस स्टडी इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट या बिकॉज द फील्ड वर्क वॉज कंडक्टेड इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विच इज आफ्टर द लॉकडाउन पीरियड ओके सो या इनफैक्ट इन आर प्रीवियस स्टडी स्पेशली इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वी हैव ट्राई टू एक्सेप्ट सम ऑफ द मीडिया रिलेटेड डेटा एंड वी केम अप विद अ ब्रीफ रिपोर्ट ऑन दैट जस्ट टू एक्सप्लोर दैट फर्दर एंड वी वॉन्टेड टू to get some different aspect from the media media consumption or people thinking about media as a whole hmm. so we tried to capture this study in large so i think uh, i'd like to know from each of you as researchers and people who worked on this uh, to just to throw this at you ki ek koi cheez ya data point jo aapko bahut surprising lagi mere ko bhi ek lage wo main aaj jab aap log bolenge tab main bataungi but first i'd like to know from you one thing that really shocked you ki yaar ye kaise <laughs> hame to nahi laga tha ki aise hoga uh, जिस बात का जिक्र मैंने पहले किया मैं उसी बात को आगे बढ़ाऊंगा नॉर्मली अगर आप देखें रात में प्राइम टाइम या सात बजे से लेकर दस या ग्यारह बजे तक टीवी को देखें और न्यूज़पेपर्स को भी देखें तो टीवी को खासकर अगर आप देखें तो क्या हो रहा है सब डिबेट्स करा रहे हैं और डिबेट्स के नाम पर जो चीज़ें दिखाई जा रही हैं परोसी जा रही वो सब हम जानते हैं क्योंकि एंकर्स को हाँ लड़ाई झगड़ा एंकर्स को अपनी मतलब एक तरह से ऐड देना पड़ता है कि मैं ना लड़ता हूँ ना लड़ाता हूँ तमाम तरह की चीज़ें सो अब एक दूसरे मोड में जा रहा है तो हम ये सोचते थे कि शायद लोग पसंद कर रहे हैं कि बस वो डिबेट होना चाहिए बट वेन यू लुक एट द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द स्टडी इट्स नॉट डिबेट विच पीपल वॉन्ट टू वॉच पीपल आर इन मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन द न्यूज बिकॉज आई थिंक ऑल्सो बिकॉज न्यूज इज मिसिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट वॉट इज द टॉप हेडलाइंस वाइल दीज डेज नॉट लॉट ऑफ न्यूज चैनल है एक मिनट में सौ खबरें दो मिनट में दो सौ खबरें तो न्यूज़ नहीं मिलता है अगर आपको न्यूज़ चाहिए तो अखबार पढ़ना पड़ता है क्योंकि न्यूज़ नहीं है टीवी अगर आप देख रहे हैं तो उसमें सिर्फ आपको डिबेट झगड़ा सुनाई पड़ रहा है और इस वजह से ही आप देखेंगे न्यूज़पेपर रीडरशिप जो हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं उससे कहीं ज़्यादा है सब्सटेंशियल न्यूज़ रीडरशिप है बिकॉज इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू नो न्यूज़ कि खबरें क्या हैं मेरे शहर की खबर क्या है हमारे इलाके की खबर क्या है दैट इज़ वाई स्टिल इफ़ यू लुक एट द न्यूज़ पेपर यू हैव अ सिटी पेज यू हैव अ इंटरनेशनल पेज यू हैव अ नेशनल नेशनल पेज कि हमें अपने शहर की खबर चाहिए दिल्ली में क्या हुआ तो ये एक इंटरेस्टिंग फाइंडिंग है इस डेटा पॉइंट्स में हम ग्रैनुलर uh, बताएंगे भी अपने ऑडियंस को बट यू वर सरप्राइज कि ज़्यादातर लोग चाह रहे हैं कि वो न्यूज और बुलेटिन ना कि डिबेट डिबेट चाहिए इवन दो आई थिंक मोस्ट न्यूज चैनल्स में पांच बजे ऑनवर्ड्स ही मतलब प्राइम टाइम ही नहीं अब तो पांच बजे ऑनवर्ड्स ही डिबेट शुरू हो जाता है और कुछ चैनल्स में आप कभी भी ट्यून करें आपको पता नहीं चलेगा न्यूज क्या है मोस्टली डिबेट ही होता है कम टू दैट स्पेसिफिक ये सब न्यूज चैनल बोले जाते हैं so for me the most interesting finding was that uh, even though social media platforms in the recent times has attracted a lot of controversy especially with regards to privacy hmm. but this doesn't stop or this does not seem to have affected the number of users in india hmm. and if i just throw some numbers if you look at whatsapp uh, 20% in 2017 said that they are regular users of whatsapp hmm. and this figure has increased to 37% in this uh, for this study for facebook from 18 to 30 for instagram uh, from 9 to 21 for tw- from for twitter from 4 to 13 and youtube to 28 to 37 so despite all the privacy issues and all this is not stopping the people they are still uh, it has not affected the number of privacy uh, is not a yes, concern it's okay. not a concern and whatsapp is and in fact one of your data points says hmm. that political opinion uh, express sure. uh, be kafi log kar rahe hain aur social media pe kar rahe hain and they are very eager to yeah. do that so and people whatsapp are not is the main uh, medium, medium uh, main for, medium through yeah. which people express their political yes. opinion yes so yeah so what uh, which i found interesting was the rise in the number of smartphone users hmm. so in especially in the last 3 years in 2019 so again i'm giving some numbers so 33% of the household said they have smartphone hmm. but in 2022 when this uh, study was conducted the number has gone up to 43% so there was 10 percentage point growth and what is interesting is that 75% of the smartphone users are using this uh, tool to get news they are watching news they are reading news on these uh, smartphones so that what i found it uh, interesting and which is the prime uh, medium through which they are consuming news smartphones uh, youtube i think right 
I YouTube is the rising star. Different, well. different way. Uh, I think hmm. so. We have asked that question, and that was a, a news website. So they are going there and getting the information through this because they are doing that effort from their side to get the news from that platform. Now I found uh, most interesting. Uh, you have this one date table here: perception of news media consumers about news media's political bias. Hmm. And by political leaning, so you have BJP supporters, you have INC leaning people, then other parties, then some people who don't have a clear leaning. Mm -hmm. But even the BJP leaning yeah. uh, respondent uh, yeah. felt that news was too favourable <laughs> to Modi, yeah. to Prime Minister Modi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are being honest. They are yeah, being honest. Too. It's very interesting that uh, usually our assumption can also be that uh, people who support the BJP may feel that the news has not been fair to us because Popularly, prime time में जो आप सुनते हैं spokesperson को सुनते हैं वो यही बोलते हैं कि media हमारे against bias है। But the BJP supporter that you spoke to, or people leaning to the BJP, they felt that yes, news is too favourable to the prime minister. So, what do you have to say on that? And but necessarily, I think they don't feel it's a bad thing. That's what yes. you say. Yes. Uh, uh, there is a logic behind that. They also offer a logic. It is not coming out in the survey, but if you infer, hmm. logic ये वो प्रधान मंत्री हैं देश के, and प्रधान मंत्री is the most important person of the country. So, there is no harm. The news has to focus on what Prime Minister has done, what Prime Minister is doing. He is inaugurating several things. Most of the policies is being rolled out in the name of the Prime Minister. So, what's harm in that? Mm. There is no harm. It is, I think, the duty. They think it is the duty of the media to project Prime Minister and or to reflect what Prime Minister is doing. So, basically, they think that there is no harm. Prime Minister no harm. But there is an acknowledgement that yes, it is too favourable. No, none of yes. them think that <laughs> media mm. is not mm. favourable to the Prime Minister. I think uh, let us begin with some of the uh, you know findings of this which I found interesting. I think one is television news. Uh, TV, your survey says that half of India watches TV regularly and a quarter does not watch it all. It is the biggest medium. And I found it quite interesting that after entertainment, news is the most watched yes. thing on television. Even though globally we hear of fatigue with news, but it shows in your survey that uh, TV news remains the primary way through which people consume news. That absolutely. If you look at the survey, you can see that people are watching regularly, uh, the TV regularly, and there yeah. are news log dekh rahe hmm. But I think there is a difference when you are talking about that worldwide there is a fatigue about the news mm. and people are switching on to different things rather than news. In India that is not happening. Uh, also because only a couple of minutes back we did talk about ki news koi log thoda entertainment ke jaisa dekhne lage. and because news is not news. These have become debates and people actually like what whosoever is watching debate. Why do they watch debate? Because they want people to take extreme positions and that is why sometimes you find a you know, lot of fighting and lot of Polarized heated, heated arguments hmm. when the debate takes place. So that is why people are not in a situation to make a difference or dif distinguish between news and debates. So they all think a news. And that they are interesting. When you open TV, it means to open a news channel. Uh, if you have switched on to a news channel and whatever is being shown on the TV, they think it is a news. Hmm. Uh, but they, they, many people fail to distinguish this is a debate, this is not a news. Hmm. And that is why अब अगर हम पूछते हैं कि आप क्या देखते हैं तो कहते हैं हम न्यूज़ देखते हैं। While though we know that वो न्यूज़ नहीं है, वो डिबेट है। Very interesting because actually newspapers में बहुत clearly demarcated होता है opinion section, editorial section, जबकि तो और वो clear होता है कि ये opinion है और front page में आपकी headlines हैं, city page में आपकी headlines हैं। Do you want to come in on news as you know most important news source and credibility के बारे में क्या आप लोगों को पता चला कि लोग कंज्यूम तो करते हैं लेकिन कितना ट्रस्ट करते हैं टेलीविजन न्यूज़ में और किन चैनल्स में? First, I just want to add something to what Sanjay ji said. So one does notice a gradual decline in terms of traditional media over the years. We do see a decline. If we see the data, what we got in like 2014 and we compare compare it to 2022, there is a gradual decline over the traditional media consumership of traditional media, TV, newspaper, and radio listeners. So uh, yes, you were talking about fatigue of news. You do you do see some decline. Maybe in a couple of years, you know, it does here. result in <laughs> fatigue, fatigue of news. Hmm. I noticed that among the channels, your uh, 
service as the DD is the most trusted. The most trusted. And private channels don't enjoy as much trust as DD does. Uh, so why is that? Uh, is there any reason why people still, is it purely reach or is it? It could be reach because I hmm. think it's also DD news are also the Free most viewed uh, channels. Yes. So also it. because what happens is that there is a competition between private channels. Mm. DD does not have any competition. Mm. So when you are competing with other channels, there is a tendency to sensationalize news. Mm. And when you try to sensationalize, and there are many instances of that kind, whether it is uh, at the time of Sushant, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. We can keep taking names of several yeah. Yeah, 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 cases yeah, yeah. which were sensationalized, blown out of proportion. Mm. That is why people have started losing faith in the private channels. Unko lagta hai, ye tamasha jada karte hai. Huh. And DD News has no competition. So they are not saying every day that we are number one, we have given them. That, is, that is why I think the trust in DD News is uh, much higher compared to trust in the, in the private news channels. Also, if we look at the news channels and the newspaper, I think print media has greater trust because unko lagta hai jo cheeze chhapi hoti hain us pe aaj bhi bharosa hai aap koi cheez chhapi bhi kisi ke paas le jaye to unko lagta hai ye kuch chhapi bhi cheez hai there must be authenticity in that so still newspaper has greater trust greater compared trust. to uh, the tv and the least trust is social, social media. media social media i think even digital outlets sabse least trust hai na digital mediums ya yeah, digital to wo does that include news websites yeah, does it include digital, social media? Common admi ke liye digital or wo social media ko distinguish nahi karte. Unke liye sab jo kuch bhi mobile pe dekh rahe hain, unke liye wo sab social media hai. To chahe ye news laundry ka news dekh rahe ho, uski debate dekh rahe ho, chahe kisi aur ki debate dekh rahe ho, unko lagta sab social media hai. They fail to distinguish ki social media ka matlab hota hai WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook aur tamam tarah ki cheeze ho. Wo nahi samajh pate us cheez ko. Unhe lagta sab social media hai. So what you are saying is that, uh, if basically one television news, ho gaya, newspaper, ho gaya, social media, ke through, jo bhi hai, kar kar hai, hai. Hai. they take it as one whole. Haan, we are they thinking of distinguish... a common man. Okay. Haan, common man is like that. I mean, who is nuanced in a way, he is different. But I am talking about common man. They all understand that the phone is social media. Hai ji. But one thing you have said is that in newspaper, there is a trust. But there is a dichotomy. Aa jati, and maybe you can talk a bit about that. कि न्यूज़पेपर रीडरशिप जो आप के सर्वे बता रहे हैं वो हाफ ऑफ ऑल इंडियंस डोंट रीड न्यूज़पेपर्स ओनली वन इन सेवेन रीड इट तो मतलब न्यूज़पेपर की रीडरशिप बहुत कम है सो यस और ये कम भी हुआ है एस कंपेयर टू द पास सर्वे सो 2014 और आई एम अगेन टेकिंग दैट स्लाइस ऑफ डेली रीडर और समवर्ट तो ये प्रोपोर्शनली कम भी हुआ है सो मे बी अगेन वी कैन लिंक दैट विद द एक्सेस ऑफ दैट ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स पीपल आर गोइंग देयर एंड गेटिंग देयर इनफॉरमेशन तो अब जो मीडिया फिटिक की बात कर रहे हैं सो दे आर नॉट वाचिंग व्हाट दे आर सर्विंग दे आर गोइंग एंड दे आर गेटिंग द न्यूज़ ऑफ देयर ओन इंटरेस्ट तो मे बी दैट कैन बी वन रीज़न और हमारे सर्वे ये भी दिखा रहा है कि इसमें अभी भी टेलीविजन एंड वी हैव आस्क व्हाट इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्स फ्रॉम यू from where you get the news item or news of your interest. So 78% said they are getting the political news or news uh, from television okay. and followed by 48% those who said that they are getting. So they are, uh, so it's not one question. So it's the, uh, we have given option. So um, uh, which medium are you using to getting political news? 78% said t television, 48% said newspaper and 37% said they are getting news from uh, social media or so just uh, politically, yeah, so, so yeah. mostly for be television news, then then newspaper, then newspaper then yeah. So media. that trend is there. So is there any explanation of why newspaper readership is reducing? And I want to also want to know: is there a north-south divide? Yes, in uh, southern state, people are using newspaper more, and that gap is quite okay. large. Mm -hmm. So in North India and other other regions, so readership has declined, but in South India, it's still intact. When you read newspaper on, on the on the site in a sense mobile पे कोई तो कई लोग उसको अखबार पढ़ना समझते नहीं हैं समझते नहीं हैं वो अखबार पढ़ने का मतलब जब तक वो अखबार ऐसे उलटते नहीं हैं तो इसी के लिए भी थोड़ा वो कह सकते हैं depressed है data because if somebody is reading newspaper on the mobile on the on the site they don't many of them don't consider that we have read newspaper वो तो हम news देख रहे थे so if they go to Dainik Jagran's website, they don't necessarily think that we are reading Akbar, which is kind of correct. It's not really flipping through papers. So anything they are doing through internet, they don't consider it as. But 
वन थिंग आई वॉज कीन ऑन नोइंग जब मतलब एटलीस्ट मेरे टाइम तक भी जब मैं स्कूल में थी uh, और आपके डेटा में भी ये बताया जाता है कि अपर क्लास और एजुकेटेड लोग ज़्यादा न्यूज़ पेपर पढ़ना पसंद करते हैं तो न्यूज़पेपर्स uh, हमेशा बचपन में भी इसलिए बोला जाता पढ़ने के लिए कि आप लैंग्वेज सीखेंगे hmm. आप अपना जी के इम्प्रूव करेंगे तो इट वॉज एन जस्ट एन एक्टिविटी टू कंज्यूम न्यूज़ बट ऑल्सो आप अपना एक होलिस्टिक इम्प्रूवमेंट करेंगे अपनी पर्सनैलिटी की तो एक एस्परेशनल प्रोडक्ट है न्यूज़ पेपर इज़ दैट स्टिल द केस डू यू थिंक फॉर लॉट ऑफ पीपल इज न्यूज़ पेपर स्टिल एस्परेशनल या अब वो स्मार्टफोन ने जगह ले लिया एस्परेशनल तो नहीं है मुझे लगता है लेजर एक्टिविटी सा हो गया है बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट द काइंड ऑफ पीपल हु आर रीडिंग स्पेंडिंग टाइम टू रीड द न्यूज़ पेपर अपर क्लास अपर कास्ट अपर क्लास लेजरली थोड़ा आराम से सुबह की चाय सुबह की कॉफ़ी के साथ आपने जिनका दस बजे दिन शुरू होता है तो थोड़ा एक आध घंटे अखबार पढ़ा आराम से लेजरली कॉफ़ी चाय के साथ तो लेजर रीडिंग ज़्यादा एस्पिरेशनल का इससे कोई संबंध नहीं है और आप देखें कि न्यूज़पेपर रीडरशिप का भी जिसका हम जिसकी चर्चा हम पहले भी कर रहे थे कि हिंदी एंड रीजनल न्यूज़पेपर है वो वेरी वाइड रीच कम्पेयर टू इंग्लिश अभी भी हमें ज़्यादातर अर्बन इलाकों में अगर आप दिल्ली बम्बे जैसे बड़े शहरों की बात करें हम अपने घरों में अगर बात करते हैं तो हमें लगता है अखबार का मतलब है हिंद अंग्रेजी का अखबार हिंदी का अखबार को हम अखबार शायद जनरली नहीं समझते लेकिन वाइस वर्षा है सो ग्रोथ इज इन हिंदी और कौन सा लैंग्वेज अपार्ट फ्रॉम हिंदी विच आर दैंग्वेज इज एन एनी अदर लैंग्वेज दैट स्टूड आउट फॉर यू गाइड आई थिंक बंगाली बंगाली देर इज उर्दू एज वेल But I don't yeah, remember the proportion. Yeah. But Bengali definitely yes. But Malayalam yes. I think the in Kerala we found that uh, number. Readership high. Yeah. high. Readership. The high. states where you have a regional language, language, so you will find the readership of the regional language newspaper very high. Hmm. All the states, whether it is Tamil Nadu, Kerala, we are talking about Bangla, Odia. Hmm. So regional. And your data set also says I think this is about all news, not just newspaper. that people want to know more about their locality their state their region and then national news yes. so ye jo uh, language press hai shayad ye bhi uh, cater kar rahi hai state ke liye ki yeah. aapki city mein kya hua aapki state mein kya hua rather than nation pe kya hua bilkul agar aap ek aam reader se puche hmm. ki wo jo ki humne sawal pucha nahi shayad puchna chahiye tha ki pehla page kaun sa kholte hain wo wo nahi hai first page aap kya kholte hain yeah तो लोग नॉर्मली चूंकि फ्रंट पेज है उसको तो देखते ही हैं उसके बाद हम अपने शहर का पेज देखते हैं नेशनल पेज देखते हैं बहुत कम मिलेंगे जो कहेंगे नहीं इंटरनेशनल पहले देखता हूँ स्पोर्ट्स कम पहले देखता हूँ सो टू मी इट वाज नॉट सरप्राइजिंग टू सी दैट अ वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर फर्स्ट इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग द न्यूज ऑफ द लोकैलिटी देयर सिटी एंड देन मूविंग ऑन टू द स्टेट स्टेट और नेशन में डिस्टिंग नहीं करते बट देर इज अ क्लियर डिस्टिंगशन कि हमारे शहर की खबर क्या है दिल्ली का पेज कौन सा है और इसी, के, uh, और इसी के लिए आप देखें कि सारे अखबार आजकल सिटी पेज का एक एडिटर होता है सिटी पेज एडिटर एग्जैक्टली इट्स एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड न्यूज पेपर लाइक टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया एक्चुअली रोज प्योरली बिकॉज ऑफ देयर वेरी गुड ग्रेन्यूलर सिटी रिपोर्टिंग सो इसलिए इट्स अ वेरी वेल रेड न्यूज पेपर बिकॉज सिटी कवरेज उनकी बहुत अखबारों के सप्लीमेंट है शहर के लिए हाँ स्पेसिफिकली गुड़गांव के लिए स्पेसिफिकली नोएडा के लिए एन में एटलीस्ट लेट्स कम टू सोशल मीडिया नाउ अनादर थिंग आई फाउंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वर्ज और ये बिल्कुल uh, मुझे नहीं लगा था ऐसा होगा <laughs> लेकिन uh, आपने सवाल पूछे हैं कि आप अपना पॉलिटिकल ओपिनियन कहाँ सबसे ज़्यादा एक्सप्रेस करना पसंद करते हैं तो फेसबुक यूजर्स काफ़ी करते हैं ट्विटर यूजर्स काफ़ी करते हैं इंस्टाग्राम यूट्यूब भी सबसे ज़्यादा व्हाट्सएप में yeah. uh, ये तो सभी को पता है व्हाट्सएप फॉरवर्ड जर फेमस ना हो सो व्हाट्सएप के झगड़े हैं ऑल्सो बिकम फेमस पोलिटिकल ओपिनियन करते करते लोगों की लड़ाई हो जाती है बट आई थिंक वट इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग is when you asked uh, which party supporters are most likely to post their political opinion bjp or congress mein koi zyada difference nahi hai so just tell us a bit about this uh, uh, this whole thing of posting political opinion and how both political parties ke supporters seem to be very active active so yes there is no difference when you look at bjp bjp leaning uh, people and uh, congress leaning people however there was a clear divide uh, you know among the partisans and the non partisans so you could be a supporter of any political party you would be more active in sharing your opinion, opinion compared to those so it's mostly partisan and not which party you are supporting you could be a supporter of any party and if you are not very politically committed then you are less likely less to likely to post and what yes. is the proportion of people you found politically committed and like usually 
Did you find that most people are committed politically or you found it almost to be? Almost you would find one in three uh, are not committed. One in three are not, not, committed. not committed. Yeah, 27 mm -hmm. approximately. It also depends if this is this is a survey which was conducted in normal times. If mm. you if you ask the same question about party commitment, mm. suppose in a whichever way you want to ask this question at the time of election, mm. then the committed voters proportion will go up because they are in that frame, mm. election frame. But normal times, yes, one third of the people, even little less than that, would be committed to a political party. Mm. The rest are kind of not very committed or not having very sharp opinion about one party or the other. Hmm. But at the time of election, I think it goes up to about 50-55% committed vote. So they are in that frame of yeah, deciding who they want yes. to vote for. And but I uh, want to add one yeah. thing. Is, so when we have asked about the posting political opinion, so they are, there is no difference. But we have question about whether they are member of any political group, whether they are member of any WhatsApp group or some messaging group. Party group basically. Party, party group. So, we found that Congress uh, leaning people are more in the political group and wow. BJP are less. So, proportion is like 17 percent of BJP leaning said they are member of any uh, political leaders WhatsApp group and uh, among Congress is 21 percent. So, are BJP leader, uh, sorry, yeah. BJP uh, supporters being honest because <laughs> because usually the thinking is that the BJP supporters yeah, are way more active on social yeah, media, on Twitter and WhatsApp. I think the me. question is slightly different. It's about are you a member of a WhatsApp group hmm. uh, political of leader. political party or political leader? So the Congress supporters, among Congress supporters, 21 percent are members of uh, a political group, uh, a WhatsApp which is related to the Congress party or a po WhatsApp group run by a political leader. Hmm. While if you look at the BJP, the proportion is slightly less. I think maybe because uh, BJP's workers are maybe more in more busy trying to rope in their new supporters rather than you know busy with having an interaction with their own leaders or with their mm. own party. So Congress may be more trying to trying to unfold uh, energize, its, ener existing energize its own supporters. existing supporters. So that is why they are more active on WhatsApp groups which is run by the political party or by a political leader. But there is no difference in sharing. Of, what, yeah. Did you find uh, I mean, this is not there in your survey, but just as a this thing. Did you find uh, more people found it useful to express political opinion, or because this is also one reason why I mean, famously, friendships break, people get into arguments, ladaiyan jagde ho jate hain, purani purani dosto hi so. Is there any sense ki? नहीं आपने कहा कि हमारे data में नहीं है, but अगर आप ये देखें कि what proportion of people are on active on social media, or what proportion of people are active in posting political news on social media, there is an upward trend. While this is a one-time survey, but social media usages, we can compare it from the past data also. Mm -hmm. There is an upward trend, mm -hmm. which is to say people are more and more people are now interested in posting uh, political opinions on social media, mm -hmm. political opinion or even non-political opinion. Mm -hmm. The number of photographs, if somebody uh, tracks, if there is a way to monitor this, say at the time of new years, the number of photographs may posted on say 31st December, 1st or 2nd January about new year celebration would be very high mm. compared to what was there in 2014 or 2012. Mm. So there is a clear indication that people are interested in posting political news as well as other news on social media. Mm. More and more people are getting interested. At the same time, people are also a little cautious mm. because of all you know, various kinds of instances which take place. But clearly there is a sign of people's increasing interest and participation in posting news on social media, hmm. political as well as non-political news. So, and we, we have that figure in this study also. So, hmm. we found that around uh, 75, with various frequencies, 75 percent of the respondent, they are sharing their own photo or photos of yeah. other. But, uh, only 43 percent said they never shared their political opinion on any of okay. the platform. So, that number is there. So, rest are sharing their political opinion. Okay. 43 is still yeah. sizable. Yeah, sizable number. So, yeah. People who are staying away. Yeah. Uh, you know, one uh, another interesting detail is this freedom of expression on social media and I think this says so much about us as Indians. Uh, you've asked opinion on freedom to express ideas on social media even if they are offensive. Now, overall, 51% feel that expression of offensive ideas are not in favor. Yeah. 
एंड थर्टी फोर फील ठीक है या कुछ नॉन कमिटल है बट ओवरवेलमिंग फीलिंग ये है आपके सर्वे में कि ओफेंसिव पोस्ट्स ना करें और गवर्नमेंट के बारे में भी इवन इफ यू हैव समथिंग वेरी ओफेंसिव टू से इट्स प्रॉबेबली नॉट द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू एंड दैट एक्सप्लेन दर एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच इट्स नॉट एन इशू फॉर अस ये भी थोड़ा सा सरप्राइजिंग हो सकता है किसी के लिए क्योंकि लग रहा है कि ये स्टेटस को इस बहुत है सरकार को पावर देना है इफ देर इज समथिंग विच इज अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट वी शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल इन पोस्टिंग और वी शुड नॉट पोस्ट जो आपने फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एक्सप्रेशन की बात की जो डेटा साहब बता रहा है मेजोरिटी कहते हैं कि नहीं उस पर थोड़ी पाबंदी होनी चाहिए आप सोच समझ के करें ऐसे कई और सवाल हैं जो ये इंडिकेट करते हैं कि मॉडरेशन है लोगों की थिंकिंग में मॉडरेशन है वो ये चाहते हैं कि नहीं ऐसी कोई चीज़ जो जिससे लगे कि देश की सुरक्षा पर खतरा है कोई ऐसी चीज जिससे लगे कि नहीं सरकार को इन चीजों के बारे में लोगों को नहीं बताना है तो ऐसी चीजों पे लोगों की सहमति है पीपल डोंट वांट टू पीपल नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ क्रिटिसाइजिंग द गवर्नमेंट डे एंड नाइट पीपल आर नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ पुटिंग आउट समथिंग विच द गवर्नमेंट डजेंट वॉन्ट यू टू पुट आउट इन I don't get too offensive. What, <laughs> if, uh, what may be the reason? That's a different story. We don't get that from the survey. It could be because of fear, intimidation, etc., etc. But that's a dominant trend. Hmm. Uh, remember, at the time of COVID, there were lots of instructions from the government that you you should not get into uh, you know like rumor rumor mongering. Uh, you, rumor mongering. You should not spread out rumors about anything related to COVID, etc. And people were very very careful. Uh, whether the you know like uh, the injections are available or not whether the beds are available or not so i think there may be some element of fear but i think there is a clear trend and this to be also was a little surprising because and to me and some of our colleagues also because we thought people would be very aggressive and say nahi nahi hame to azadi honi chahiye hum jo chahe likhna likhenge sarkar ko criticize karne ki azadi honi chahiye that's not coming out from the survey hmm. but it's we are getting some hint so uh, in the in the following question we have asked about a question whether government should curb or restrict or regulate the content which you are posting, posting online mm-hmm. so if you see the proportion those who are disagreeing with this statement is higher, higher. much higher than those who are fully agreeing so 29% are fully uh disagreeing with this statement as against only 11% are fully agreeing that government should curb so that difference is there so maybe coercive yeah. action they don't yeah. want yeah so they don't want to kar diya to ye nahi ki aap jail daal do ye kar do ya regulate karo ya ek watch rakho exactly but at the same time don't offend yeah don't offend yeah <laughs> but so. also with regards to government uh, surveillance hmm. people were okay with it like yeah. four in 10 said there's nothing wrong in wrong. it exactly. but yes they opposed telephonic surveillance compared to like the whatsapp the online surveillance, surveillance. कॉमन पीपल these are common citizens this is a national representative sample hmm. we would have if there are 40% illiterates in the country in our sample also there are 40% illiterate hmm. 70% service from the rural india hmm. but still if such a large number of people uh, say no we don't support surveillance over telephone that speaks a lot now i think last three questions i have or three data sets that i think will be very interesting for our viewers which was got to do solely with television news jiska sabse zyada influence hai i think we have to agree that tv news is not dying or not going anywhere hmm. it is clearly the number one uh, source through which people are learning uh, about their country about news events and stuff like that and like you said sanjay ji beginning mein that uh, people prefer watching news bulletins than debate and you have got, looked at all the channels here you've asked viewers of dd ndtv republic abp z india today tv9 news 18 all the viewers uh, who go to these channels say that they prefer bulletins rather than watching news debates the only slight outlier is republic tv where the viewers are less likely to prefer bulletins uh but everyone else prefers bulletins then why do we have debates <laughs> where is uh, i think this question can should be asked to 
the editors of the news channels, we won't be able to answer this question. But I think uh, connected to what I said earlier, this is because of the competition. Mm. If one channel starts doing a particular kind of a show, mm. uh, I think the other channels watch for few days, few months. And then if they think, if they see that that program is becoming popular, whether it is a cockfight or whatever, others also follow the footsteps. Mm. So I think that's why despite the data clearly indicates viewer ko kya chahiye, wo news chahte hain. Lekin TV kya, news channels kya kara rahe hain, wo news ke alawa sab kuch kar rahe hain. Aur usme debate takes a prominent position, mm. ki wo debate hai. Uh, to is karan se hume lagta hai ki, uh, because of the competition, that's what is, if you, if you talk to many of these editors, agar aap unse one to one in person baat kare, to khud bhi kehte hain ki, this is too much, bahut ho gaya, lekin ab kya kare, hume news chalana hai, hmm. TV chalana hai, dousre kar rahe hain, to hume bhi karna padta hai. So I think, uh, I hope some news editors and anchors are watching this, because clearly there is space for disruption and people want it. This thing ki chal raha hai, chalte raha hai, aur yehi chalta hai. Perhaps it's good time to rethink because people seem to want news bulletins. Uh, also if you news bulletin is like quick news, like yeah. one after another, yeah. uh, as compared to like uh, debates where just a particular news is discussed Stretch for one hour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's also one reason that. Yeah. Jaldi se sab cheeze saari And like you said, sab kuch aapko aspas ke mein kya ho raha hai. Any uh, particular thing you want to uh, tell me about fatigue with news debates? Anything specific? Uh, that you guys got to know about? Look, there are two things that news debates with fatigue, which I have also mentioned that these noisy debates are increasing, but on the other hand, you will also see the trend that the news channels are being cautious about that. They are, they are conscious about that. Hmm. Not cautious, they are conscious about that. And that is why in many news channels, you will find one or the other anchor, uh, you know, like unka jo advertisement apne baare mein hai, you know, this is not a channel where you can shout. Hmm. You have to speak one by one. This is now increasing channel by channel. Har channel mein aapko ye sunne ko milega ki this is not the channel where you can shout. Speak one by one. So I think, ek cycle mein move kar raha. Aur sa, dousri baat, ye saare news channel, wo jo fata fat news, alag alag naam se hai. Hmm. Fata fat news, ek minute mein sao khabre hai, do minute mein do sao khabre hai. ये अब सारे न्यूज चैनल शुरू कर दिए हिंदी वाले अंग्रेजी में तो अभी शायद देखने को नहीं मिलता नहीं, लेकिन हिंदी, हिंदी में आपको है. सब में अब देखने को मिलता है छोटा बड़ा चैनल विच इज एन इंडिकेशन दैट दे हैव आल्सो रियलाइजिंग कि यू नीड टू गिव सम न्यूज कुछ तो न्यूज देना है भले ही वो फटाफट पांच मिनट में दें दो मिनट में दें तो ये चेंज दिखाई पड़ता है डिबेट जितने नॉइजी होते थे अब हर चैनल की एक थोड़ा सा एफर्ट होता है कि एटलीस्ट सम डिबेट शुड बी विदाउट विदाउट दिस नॉइज uh, because people want to listen to those news, uh, those debate which is less noisy. Or dusra ye ki news ka demand hai. There is a push and that is why ye fata fat ek minute mein sok habre types ke program aapko sare channels pe ab dikhne lage. In fact, you are very right about advertising. I know Rajat Sharma's show which is a 9 pm show consciously makes that advertisement that this is not a show where people will shout, we will just tell you. All uh, the calmly, news, all the Hindi news know? channels will. So I think you are right that there is a push. But at the same time you have shows like जिनका नाम ही लड़ाई जैसा होता है कुश्ती या मुकाबला या यू नो ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ नेम्स लाइक दैट डिवाइड इन रिलिजन आई थिंक इज आल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हाउ हिंदूज व्यू न्यूज हाउ मुस्लिम्स एंड यू हैव लुक्ड एट टू रिलिजियस सेट्स हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम्स बिकॉज़ आई थिंक द अदर यू डिडंट फाइंड इनफ सैंपल साइज या स्मॉलर सैंपल साइज बिकॉज़ इट विल बी इन प्रोपोर्शन टू देयर शेयर इन पॉपुलेशन या सो now hindu muslims are less trusting of all types of news than hindus uh, they still trust dd more if it just talking about muslims uh, your respondents the trust was highest among dd then newspapers then private then uh, radio and then online website to minus 3 mein unka trust bilkul nahi hai so what is this uh, very interesting religious divide in how uh, they trust news. I am not at all surprised by this, these numbers because if you look at what keeps happening day and night over these private news channels, uh, there are reasons for Muslim to be less trusting these private news channels. Mm. That doesn't happen 
so frequently over DD because DD is mainly about news. They have very little program on debates. Mm. So I think it is understandable that Muslims have a particular attitude towards news mm. when it comes to the channels which are serving news. So highly trusted DD, slightly less trusted newspapers, mm. less trusted private. And then if you go to the social media uh, or, or the website, uh, it is minus because we these figures have been calculated between looking at the high trust and the least trust, trust and then yeah so low getting trust. one number mm. so you look at the social media you randomly if you look at if you watch any social media i think six out of ten would be doing something around hindu muslim mm. hindu muslim mm. and what is this hindu muslim and it's all about so much all, yeah. rumors about yeah. muslims at the center of the rumor yeah. basically criminal kaun hai musliman hote hain bacche kaun paida karte hain musliman karte hain etc etc all kinds of things hmm. so there is reason for muslims to be less trusting the social and media and that is very dangerous because then in a situation where there's a polarized event uh, if you're turned away from any sort of news you know outlet you're likely to put trust in an outlet which may not give you correct you know information so this is something to also think of Muslim news consumers that uh, private news channels have failed them. Of course, I mean, we show the day in nuisance that a different type of jihad is invented in television news. Mein. So how can they watch it and how can they have trust in that? Now, in Haldwani's case, If you talk about COVID, there is a category of COVID. When we have a category of cricket match, there is also a category of the first time in slices of analysis. Ki jati hai. Hmm. फर्स्ट टेन ओवर्स में कितने रन्स बने और प्रोजेक्शंस किया जाता है कोविड के समय में आपको याद होगा मरकज इतने इन्फेक्टेड हैं उनमें से इतने नॉन मरकज वाले हैं और इतने हुए हैं वो एक कैटेगरी बन गई थी एनालिटिकल कैटेगरी थी ऐसी तमाम एनालिटिकल कैटेगरी बना देते हैं हिंदू मुसलमान रिलीजन के आधार पर तो नेचुरली और वो सारी कैटेगरी जो है वो एक पिक्चर प्रजेंट करती है वॉट इज दैट पिक्चर पुटिंग मुस्लिम इन अ नेगेटिव लाइट नेगेटिव पिक्चर so that is why so the kind of opinion normal. which we are getting is not surprising that trust so yeah in fact in the study also 52% of muslim respondents said that the currently media is very little so that question was do you think that uh, media is doing uh, covering your interest issues. yeah issues and interest uh, while showing the tv show or other uh, news items so 52% of the muslims said that media is giving very little uh, time or uh, news coverage to them so mm. this is there in fact there there is a question about uh, trust in so whether media is freer uh, is more free than earlier or is less free so muslim against hindu categories they are more likely to say that media is not free so mm. you'll see that category mm. there also ki unka trust pehle ke muqable mein media jo hai wo pehle se kam free hai while uh, reporting the news so wo dikh raha hai that muslim they, they are not happy with the kind of news news channels are presenting aur so, ye yeah, actually bahut depressing situation hai because itna uh, ek sizable uh, chunk of population if they are turning away from news and they don't see hope in so it's uh, it's a very depressing reality to in fact all the hmm. marginal community all the marginalized hmm. communities felt that they uh, interests are under representation mm -hmm. in the un under represented in the mainstream, mainstream media. media which brings me to a very interesting yes. table that you guys have made uh, which is perception of news media consumers about news media's coverage of key sections of society yeah. so you've actually uh, you know asked them ki news mein common man ke issues ko kitna uh, space milta hai to very little is <laughs> the category that wins Rural areas again uh, very mm -hmm. little, uh, you know, twenty three percent little to very little. Basically, people feel that rural areas ko zada importance nahi mil rahi hai. Muslims again uh, little to very little attention. Mm -hmm. Poor people, farmers, Dalits, women, Adivasis, they all feel that their issues have been given little to very little space. Rich and big people adequate adequate space. yes <laughs> they, yeah. but is this true for urban audience also urban respondents also who felt that they are showing our there would be yeah. some difference <laughs> but some not, difference. not not much, much difference, difference. Uh, aisa nahi hai ki wo jo uh, urban ilakon mein jo rehte hain wo kahenge nahi nahi aap gaon walon ko this is a fact hmm. you have a city page hmm. you don't have a rural page hmm. uh, you have uh, when 
something happens with regard to families or people who are high ups in socio economic ladder so those news get you know sp yeah. spread out mm. in the newspaper but something happens in mm. very interior place wo teen din ke baad koi social media pehle cover karta hai fir wo akhbar mein jagah milne lagti hai so i think it's not surprising what the data which has the, what has data done uh, what the things which we kept hearing ki bhai rural ilakon ki khabre nahi aati hai dalitton ki khabre nahi aati hai garib ki khabre nahi aati hai usko quantify kiya what proportion of people think that pe dalits are marginalized when it comes to news mm. what proportion of people believe that uh, rural uh, locations are neglected when it comes to coverage of news mm -hmm. so but in my opinion these date the findings are not surprising it's only putting things in perspective in terms of giving it a number mm. pretty interesting um so what in terms of news then news anchors and news editors Uh, they must realize that a large section of people in india actually feel that their interests are not being represented adequately <laughs> and i think uh, what i'd like to conclude with is each of you uh, this is a very fascinating study and uh, i'll tell our audience uh, where they can get their hands on this but i think as conclusion uh, what do you think um, this study should teach journalists what should uh, journalists take back from this when thinking about their news consumers I think one big thing is that one has to be neutral. Hmm. Journalists should behave like or work like journalists, not like spokesperson of either one class of people hmm. or one party or one ideology. Hmm. So that's one thing. Uh, also, we we have seen through the surveys that a very large proportion of Indians are not getting adequate representation when it comes to the news. Hmm. Things are. Uh, you know there are news in the rural india there are news about poor people dalits adivasis but those are not being covered unless until a hype one a hype is created on that mm. so i think the journalist more than journalist i think the media owners because i think there is also a relationship of cost cutting people don't exactly. want to send their journalist to you know yeah. interior places yeah. most of the journalist will cover will go to the urban places so if the journalist are stationed in urban places where do you where do you get the news from of the rural place mm. something which has happened in one remote village so i think more than journalists the message is for the owners of the media house people who are mm. running these houses that uh, invest more in sending journalists to places which are remote rather than putting so much of effort in having the prime time debates because prime time debates is not what people like what people are urging to read or uh, or listen is the news from the rural india news from about news, the marginalized yeah. a 360 degree view of what's happening yeah. in their country also uh, we see that the media media quantity has increased mm. now with the new media and internet and everything and also uh, cheap phones and uh, inexpensive uh, data packs so i think uh, one needs to take care of the ethics and credibility mm. and also uh, basically not compromising the quality of what they are showing the viewers and uh, uh, less biasness probably <laughs> yeah. anything you would like to add uh, it's mainly about the content they are producing so और जो अभी भी दिख रहा है सो इफ दे आर दे इज वन इवेंट दे आर जस्ट पुशिंग दैट इवेंट और सभी कवरेज इज अराउंड दैट न्यूज सो दे या सो दे शुड कवर एस ऑलरेडी मैंशन दैट दे शुड कवर द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ और दे शुड प्रोड्यूस और शो कंटेंट ऑफ वेरियस सेगमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी नॉट जस्ट बिहाइंड वन टॉपिक और वन इशू and uh, lastly also i think sanjay it'll be interesting to ask you this question and then we can wrap up because you are we are with csds news Uh, how important a role does news play uh, when people decide who they want to vote for political choices because sometimes when we cover elections and we talk to voters uh, they almost mimic news anchors sometimes what they say uh, i know i've heard it, a television anchor say the same thing so is it an exaggeration to say ki television has a huge role news tv especially in influencing voters or you think people have made up their mind and then they choose I mean, news is just something on the side that they watch according to their bias. No, you have used the word huge impact. It it doesn't have a huge impact. No. It does have an impact, hmm. but it doesn't have a huge impact. And the way we see how politics has changed over last one decade, or how people uh, are, are voting, 
I think the proportion of voters who make up their mind well in advance, they are not influenced by what is happening in the media about these TV debates, hmm. their proportion has gone up. Okay. If we look at nationally, there was a time in the 90s, mid 90s, 96, 98, 99, remember that's the time for co of coalition government, no party was getting a majority. That was the time when proportion of what we call the floating voters, people who make up their mind on the last two days, we don't know whether they get influenced by only media or by several things, what we call when they get a sense that this party is winning bandwagon effect or underdog effect. But the proportion of uh, the floating voters used to be 25-26 percent hmm. and committed voters used to be in the range of 26-30 percent. Hmm. If you look at 2019 data, uh, the, the numbers have changed drastically. Hmm. Committed voters roughly in the range of 50-55 percent. Wow. Yes. And okay. the floating voters has come down to 11-12 percent. Wow. So the influence of media is still there on the voting choices when people decide which party to vote for, but not to the extent yeah. as people in the media believe, because <laughs> many of them believe they make government and they <laughs> they are they can they can bring down a government, which is not the not case. Not true. Yeah. And committed, but do you think the committed voters get committed because of the news they watch through the year? I mean, if every day you're tuning into prime time and it's telling you this party is great, this is the leader who will save you, it can have that, you know, impact in really solidifying your commitment to No, I don't think, no. yes, it has some impact. If there was no impact, then all these media houses would have shut down by the now. Hmm. It has some impact, but not that people are getting committed only because they watch media. I think it is more because uh, ideological orientation yes, of people yeah. are, so, have got more rooted now. Hmm. Uh, it's all about nationalism and ideological commitment. These two things have made people more committed towards a party or committed or against one political party. So nationalism, this feeling of nationalism. So star anchors should calm down and <laughs> ego, unka thoda, unka ego thoda prick ho jana chahiye, that you are not making breaking governments and you are not influencing. But I think, uh, okay, so this is the study and if someone wants to read it, they can reach out to you at what email address? So, CSDS. You can write to lokniti at csds.in. Uh, visit our website. And so. Especially for a student of media, I think this is a very, and very also, valuable. Uh, we must uh, also thank uh, Kodna Dadnir Stiftung yes. because Kodna Dadnir Stiftung supported this study. They have been a part, they have been partner on this study. They financially supported this study. So, you can also get a copy from Kodna Dadnir Stiftung. Okay. And if, like I said, if you're a media student, if you're interested in media, it's a very interesting uh, study. It will bust some of your myths. It, some things will take you by surprise and some things you will have data to, you know, prove. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we really look forward to more such studies on the media because I do think media in India is not studied the way it should be. There's a lot of critique around it, but it's very valuable to have data around, hard data around consumption and media in India. So thank you so much and we look forward to your next study. We will soon come out with another study on media. Great. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. The subscription model is something that keeps news laundry afloat, but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem. So you pay for news, so it serves you. So click on the link with this video, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. And say, Mere khars par azad hai khabrein.